With the March break travel rush just around the corner, important changes to tell you about at Canada's busiest airport. Pearson says it plans to put hard caps on the number of flights at certain times. How exactly will this work? Sean O'Shea is live at Pearson with more for us. Sean. Alan, there's some long queues here in the departure area in the domestic side of uh, Terminal 1. Uh, the problems at Pearson uh, date back to last summer, and we, of course, heard all about them at Christmas time. Now the Greater Toronto Airports Authority says there are changes coming, although you may not want to hear about those because they could involve flight rescheduling or even flight cancellations as soon as March break. Canada's biggest airport, where travelers have strong opinions about the service they get, and in recent months, the long delays they face. Frustrations hit the boiling point over the Christmas holidays, when bad weather caused serious flight delays. It's probably one of the worst airports I've been to in terms of getting your baggage. I travel a lot, and uh, I don't like traveling through Pearson. Pearson Airport can't be blamed for everything that goes wrong here. But from broken baggage systems to a lack of communication, the airport has earned some of the worst possible reviews since last summer. Now, as soon as next month, Pearson will be allowing fewer flights to do what it calls flattened peak hour schedules. The airport says it will place hard limits on the number of commercial flights that can arrive or depart in any given hour, along with limits on business and general aviation flights. In a statement, the airport authority said it will cap the number of passengers who can arrive internationally or depart to the United States through each terminal in a given hour. The airport says the changes will begin with the March break period and include the travel season next summer. Better than doing nothing. If you have 10 planes coming in and you have to do baggage sorting and all that sort of thing, that makes the system really tighten up where compared to only five planes that system should be working a lot more efficiently. But I don't think they should stop any flights, no, absolutely not. If you're the biggest airport in Canada and you're known uh, for its international destinations, I think that you have to work it out, you have to work out the kinks. Frances Lasowski of Hamilton has strong views about Pearson. She asked me to carry her ski bag, so I did. Does Pearson need some improvements? I think Pearson needs a lot of improvement. Perhaps less congestion at peak times would help, but she says the airport has a long way to go. My preference at all times is if I could fly to Buffalo. We're in one of those peak periods of the daytime, 5, 6, 7 p.m. That's why it's so crowded here. The airport's authority wasn't doing any television interviews today, so there's no more hard official details. Uh, but the airlines are the ones that set their schedules. It's not the airport. Still, if the airport authority puts the squeeze on those airlines, they may have to postpone cancel, rearrange flights, and that could happen as soon as March break. The organization representing the airlines in this country had no comment on this today. One other aviation organization telling me they're still trying to figure out what this whole Pearson plan is really all about.